In this video, I will show you how to use the FX Line Colorize Enhanced. This FX allows you to colorize the line according to a pre-established color code, like in the Japanese industry. In my project, I have three different layers, one with the black lines, a second one with the colored lines, and a third one with the colorization. The FX in question can be found in the FX stack, click on Add FX, Color, Line Colorize Enhanced. In Color Source, you will inform where is your color reference, under or above your current layer. Display means you'll just refer to all the colors visible in your project. But here, I want to refer to the colors of my colorization layer, which is located under my current layer, so I choose Under. I can select tones of colors I want to choose from, 3, 4 or 5. 3 will be enough for this example. I can now start defining my color tones by clicking on Add Color Set. If I click once on the color field here, I get the picker so that I can choose the color I want. Here the darker color of the hair, the dark green under the tone dark one. For normal, I choose the middle green, and for light one, the lighter green. Add a destination will allow me to add the color code, which means the colors of the colored lines. Here, blue and red. The blue line are assigned to the darker tone, and the red line is assigned to a lighter tone. Keep in mind that your lines must be aliased. I can see now that there are some imperfections in my colorization. So I am going to apply some corrections with a brush and the B color to A color blending mode. And I will use the mechanical pencing to work pixel by pixel. I need to transform my CTG layer into an anim layer in order to edit it with a special brush. And now I can use my brush with a special blending mode B color to A color to change only the one color I want to change and nothing else. Of course, I need to be located on my colorization layer. Back on my colored line layer, I can see that the difference of opacity in my lines leaves some red pixels in the preview. I simply need to increase the range here for every destination color. And I see that there is no more red pixels in my hair. After that, I can continue to add the other tones of my character the three different tones of the skin, and I should not forget to add the third color of the colored lines, which corresponds to the lighter tone, here light one. And I continue adding the other tones of the character. The three tones of the shirt, For the button, it is a bit peculiar, because there are only two tones. So I am going to add the first two tones like this, and I leave the third one with a color which does not exist in my project, so the FX will not be able to assign it to anything. And I continue again to add the remaining tones of the image. I can see that, again, I have imperfections in my colorization, so I'm going to correct them again with the B color to A color blending mode. The blur option allows me to add some blurry impression in the colors. Limit source defines the source of the limit which is taken into account in the blur. I have three choices, colors, colors plus above and colors plus under. These correspond to the sources of the colors in my different layers. The blur parameter defines the size of the blur. And limit opacity defines the opacity level on which the blur will be limited. When everything is the way I want it, I can apply the FX and delete it as I don't need it anymore. Now I see that the colors of my lines have changed to the colors I wanted.